huge flying cockroaches. But at least there's the beach, right? Hey everyone, Dana here. Before moving to Europe, I lived in sunny South Florida, and there were some things that I loved about life in South Florida, and there were some things that I definitely could have done without. So let's take a peek behind the curtain at life in South Florida. And speaking of sunny South Florida, the weather was a huge plus. Before moving to Europe, I had actually no idea how much I took the weather in South Florida for granted. It was just sunny so much of the time. Like for example, I would plan a pool party in the summer and sure, it was probably gonna rain for about an hour in the afternoon. But other than that, you had a pretty good chance of it being sunny weather. Most of the time when planning events, especially events not in the summer, so not during the rainy season, it just never really even crossed my mind that the weather might not be good. Like, sure, okay, yes, sometimes it surprised us and the weather wasn't good, but I would say most of the time the weather was just pretty nice. But in the summer, yes, sometimes a little bit too hot. You had to kind of work around the heat. As I mentioned in this video about how hot it got in South Florida, it got really hot in South Florida, and you can check out that video for more information. And what goes great together with sunny weather? Why, the beach, of course. When I was younger, looking back on it now, I feel like I just didn't really go to the beach enough, nor did I appreciate it enough. But as I got older, then I really started loving the beach. And now it's one of the things that I super, super miss about Florida. I just love walking along the beach, listening to the relaxing sound of the waves, the seagulls overhead. Yeah, I really miss the beach. It's one of the things I really miss about Florida. But something kind of shocking about the beach in South Florida is that in the summer, the water is actually really warm in a lot of places. It's often pretty shallow water and at one in the afternoon, it can definitely feel like bath water. You're chilling on the sand, get a little warm and think like, ah, I'm gonna go cool off in the water. Nope, that often just backfires and it makes you even warmer after you go for a dip in the water than before. Okay, so now how about something that I did not like about Florida? The bugs. Cockroaches, these huge ones with wings, they would fly right at you sometimes. Fire ants had to make sure you didn't step on the wrong pile or they'd crawl up your leg and attack, humongous mosquitoes, tiny little ants that we called sugar ants, and more. <laughs> South Florida was home, or is still home, but I'm not there, <laughs> to lots and lots of bugs. We had to keep basically everything food-wise either in the fridge or sealed away in a plastic bag in the pantry. You leave the raisins sitting in the pantry, not sealed in a plastic bag, there's a good chance that they would then be crawling by morning. Another thing that I really hated about living in South Florida was the intense focus on beauty. In South Florida, there was a lot of pressure coming from all over the place to look Perfect, flawless, no flaws allowed. Mr. German Man was pretty shocked when he came back with me to Florida for the first time and we listened to the radio in the car and when the ads came on, it really felt like every other advertisement was for some kind of cosmetic surgery, Botox, teeth whitening, hair removal, hair implants, liposuction, permanent makeup. The list goes on. And as if the radio advertisements weren't enough, the road itself was plastered with these huge billboards advertising basically the same thing, using the most beautiful, perfect models to show you what you could be, should be, of course. So that was a pretty hard place to spend my teen years with that kind of intense focus on looking perfect, feeling push toward the need to strive for this impossible perfection 
all the time, all around me. And lastly, speaking of driving around in the car, just driving there in general was, yeah, bad. <laughs> First of all, the road rage was intense and scary. And then it also just seemed like so many people in South Florida drove wild and crazy and learning to drive in South Florida, the catchphrase that was always thrown around was defensive driving. I was told over and over and over again that in South Florida, I needed to learn how to drive defensively. Yeah, it was just a very um, intense place to drive. And whenever I drove out of town and then came back to South Florida, I didn't need any mile markers on the highway to tell me that I was almost there. I knew that I was almost home when the driving changed. I could really feel that shift that suddenly people started driving really crazy. So my question for you is, have you ever been to Florida? What did you love and hate about it? And what do you love and hate about the place where you grew up? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy my videos, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. And also a really big thank you so much to our patrons on Patreon who help make these videos possible. Thank you so much for your support. If you would like to check out our Patreon page, you can find a link to that down in the description box below. Until next time, auf Wiedersehen. You want to leave those... Nah. It just never really even crossed my... January was a little cold. I'm not a very good snapper. These are my best snaps, though. There were a lot of bugs.